mechanics were the first to use steel shavings to polish things. But by the early part of the 20th century, equipment was invented to mass-produce steel wool. It has lots of rough edges, so it's very abrasive. But that is what we love about it. There are thousands of metal threads in each steel wool pad. To make it, they start with coiled steel rod that unwinds through metal guides into a 5 meter long die machine. It pulls the rod through six progressively smaller dies to narrow it and make it uniform. Spools wind up the rod after it passes through each die to prevent any snarls in production. The repeated drawing through dies reworks the steel's basic structure, doubling its tensile strength. When it reaches the end of the die machine, the diameter of the steel rod has been halved. This slimmer, stronger wire will be easier to process. To double-check its tensile strength, a sample piece of wire is placed in a testing device. Clamps pull it from both directions. It takes over half a ton of force to snap it, an indication that it's strong enough to be machined. So it's over to the steel wool cutting machine, which spans 15 meters. Here, the wire travels over a series of drums, while 29 blades shave it. Each blade produces shavings thinner than a human hair. Streams of the shavings exit the machine. They make a quick turn around metal guides to merge with others. Each of these steel threads has been cut in a pyramid configuration, which makes it razor sharp. The steel threads wind en masse onto large rolls under the machine, accumulating in one big pack. Next, they align several of the rolls of steel wool on racks and then secure them in place. They pull fibers from each roll and bunch them together. Then they thread the bunched up ends through a series of bobbins. They feed the ends of all the rolls of wire to a needle punch machine. Here, hundreds of needles, shaped like fish hooks, weave all the steel threads together and turn it into wool. It's a very basic crochet job, and it produces a long mat of wool that's a suitable density for woodworking. To make household cleaning pads, they bulk up the steel wool even more. They insert layers of needle mat into the streams of steel fibers. This gives it extra strength, suitable for big cleaning jobs. The double-layered stream then heads over to the needle punch machine to be woven together. Once the wool goes onto a final roll, it's wired and ready to be turned into pads for cleaning, sanding or polishing. Jobs for which its coarseness will definitely be appreciated. Still haven't seen any steel sheep though.
No, I don't take